Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is 2574 left and right sum difference. So in this question, we're given an integer array called nums and we have to return an output array called answer where the answer array should satisfy these two criteria. The first criteria is that the length of the input array and output array should be the same and each element inside the output array should be the absolute difference between the left sum and the right sum of that particular element. So left sum is defined by the sum of all elements to the left of that index. If there is no element to the left, we return 0 for that left sum. And right sum similarly is the sum of all elements to the right of the index in the array nums. And if there is no such element, that right sum for that element should be 0. Finally, we return our answer which is an array. Now let's take a look at the example one and see how we can form the output. So we have the input array. Now let's find the left sum for all the elements. So left to this is nothing. So we start with 0. Left to this is 10. Left to this is 10 plus 4 which is 14. And left to this is 22. So we find our left sum. Let's do the same right sum. Right sum for all the elements to the right for this index is 15. Right sum for the index from 4 is 11. Right sum for 8 is 3 and since there is no element to the right of 3 we will put 0 as the right sum for 3. Now we need to find the absolute difference between all the elements. So let's declare our answer array. So difference between 0, 15 is 15. Note you are finding the absolute difference so the output will always have positive numbers. So this difference is 1 because 10 minus 11 is minus 1. So absolute value of minus 1 is 1 and this you will get 11 and here you will get 22 and this is our expected output as you can see which is matching the output here. So let's implement these steps in Java program. So I created the two arrays left sum and right sum. The starting element of left sum will always be 0 because there won't be any elements to the left and the last element inside right sum array will be equal to 0. Now I'm taking two indices, left index and right index. Left index will start from 1 and right index will start from 0 because we already created left index as 0. Now here we are forming the left sum array and here we are forming the right sum array. To fill the left sum array, we are using the left index variable and each time we are incrementing it before starting the next iteration. And to fill the right sum array, we are using the right index variable. And to find the sum of array, I used a helper function here called sum of array which will find the sum of elements from starting index and ending index given as parameters here and we finally return sum as the output because we are returning an integer variable and this we are calling it inside the main functions to find the sum for the left sum and right sum. Now you have the left sum and right sum in two different arrays. So create the output array here answer which will be of the same length as input because this is the first condition. Now iterate through the answer array from 0 till the end of the answer array and you are finding the absolute difference between right sum and left sum element inside those two arrays. So you can also do left sum minus right sum because ultimately you get the absolute value for that element. Finally you return the array answer. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the length of the input array nums and the space complexity is also O of n because you are using two arrays to form the output. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.